What's going on, everybody? And welcome back to a brand new episode of Maximus the Fourth. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Zagnut Bar. Now, before I open this thing up and give it a taste test, letting you guys know exactly what I think, there is some pretty interesting background information on this candy bar that I'm going to read to you guys and it is anything but boring so hold on to your seatbelts here we go the Zagnut bar was launched in 1930 by the D.L. Clark Company of Western Pennsylvania which also made the Clark bar now, for those of you that don't know what D.L. Clark stands for, it stands for David L. Clark. What David's middle initial actually is, is unknown. Could I have found that out if I dug a little harder? Sure. But it's not that important, so I skipped that. Clark changed its name to the Pittsburgh Food and Beverage Company and was acquired by Leaf International in 1983. The Zagnut brand was later part of an acquisition by Hershey Foods Corporation in 1996. So needless to say, this weird, obscure candy bar has been around for a very long time. 93 years and i cannot believe i've never tried one of these before they must not be available in every single region of the states so now that i've given you guys a little bit of a history lesson and some background information on this potential hidden gem let's get this thing opened up and see what we're dealing with here what is it that we're talking about this 1.51 ounce bar holds a whopping 200 calories. It has 20 grams of sugar. That's pretty much all you need to know. Time to eat. Oh, that just kind of broke. Wow. Okay. So, shout out to Industrial Industries World Radio, a YouTuber that goes by the nickname of DJ Glowing Ice. I actually remember him reviewing this now. And what this actually reminds me of is a Butterfinger bar. If you take a look at the inside and already feeling the texture of it, it breaks just like a Butterfinger bar. Now, all a Butterfinger bar is, is it's just a Chico stick that's covered with chocolate and possibly even peanut butter, too. Let's see what this thing tastes like. Hmm. Oh, man. That's good. On the inside of that, it has a filling that has a texture and a slight taste that's very much similar to baklava. Oh man, that's good. Holy moly. On the wrapper, it says crunchy 
peanut butter, toasted coconut. Mmm. Holy crap, that is so good. I can't even believe what I'm eating right now. Mm. This thing's unreal. I can't believe how good this thing is. Where do I even start? So, when you buy into this, it has a very consistent texture of something that feels firm, but can also break apart at the same exact time. It has a very crusty type of brittleness to it, just like a croissant. The peanut butter that is in this is absolutely off the hook. And the slight coconut flavor that's in here is also very good. Everything about this bar is just perfect. I, I was not expecting this thing to taste so good, to be perfectly honest. I can't believe what I just ate. Now, most scores a lot of times they do come down to your preference. So a lot of items that are food are only as good as whoever's reviewing them. But off of my own personal opinion on eating this thing, it tasting so much like a Butterfinger, or not even a Butterfinger, a Chico stick, which is pretty much the inside of a Butterfinger bar. And then you add that glorious peanut butter taste to it in the coconut, in the fall apart texture but still kind of firm this thing was absolutely perfect i loved it i'm gonna give this thing a really freaking perfect legendary score of 10 out of 10. if you have not tried a zagnut bar you are missing out on life itself if you ever I mean, ever find one of these things, pick that son of a gun up and give it a shot. Comment down below on this video and let me know what you think about it. Tell me if you like it as much as I did. Oh my gosh. I rarely ever give anything on my channel a perfect score of 10 out of 10. And that just did it for me. Thank you all for watching. Hope you have yourselves a great evening and have a wonderful Wednesday tomorrow and I will see you next time.